Hi Sunshine, welcome back to our channel. I'm Lorianne, the mom. And I'm Taylor Ann, the daughter. And we are Mad, Mad Curls. Curls. <laughs> <laughs> we've noticed that we've gained a lot of subscribers over the last week since we took a little hiatus. Mm -hmm. And so there's been some confusion. For those of you who don't know, this is the mom, the, the M, M, and Mad, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the daughter, me. the D. The D. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Taylor Ann, that's me. Okay, so we are back today with another hair review mm -hmm. tutorial. Mm -hmm. And from the title, you've already, you already know what's up. It's the Aussie Miracle, Miracle Curl Curls. line. The mm -hmm. new Aussie line that's been put out. We've had a ton of requests to do this line. And so here we are. <laughs> here we are. So we jump right into it? Jump right into it. Okay, so the Aussie put out seven new products in this line, this brand new line. So let's go through the products. Ma, do you want to start with the cleansers? Kick it off. Okay, there's seven products in this line and Three of the products are cleansers, so this line has a co-wash right here, a typical co-wash, mm -hmm. so a Miracle Curls co-wash. Then they have a shampoo, or this is the shampoo, and this is the conditioner. Ooh. So it's the Miracle Curls line, and the shampoo and conditioner, and the co-wash. Awesome. And they also have um, two kind of deep conditioners, kind of deep conditioners masks. So they have another big bottle, the 3 Minute Miracle. They made it for now the Miracle Curls line. And they also put out a nourishing hair mask. Mm -hmm. And then there's lastly two mm -hmm. stylers. One is, hold on, glasses time. Okay, one is the leave-in detangling milk. And the other right one here. is... The cream pudding. Mm -hmm. So we will be styling our hair with these today. Yep. Okay. All right. And we'll talk about the products as we go along in the tutorial. Let's just jump into the first things first, water and all first that. Things first. So mm -hmm. if you would like to see us talk about this line, use this line, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. So first things first, water. water. <laughs> <laughs> we did spray our hair a little bit off camera so we wouldn't be here all day spraying our hair. But let's talk about what we cleansed our hair with today. Ma, go ahead. So today I cleansed my hair. I tried the co-wash and I loved it. I was able to detangle with it. I, again, I'm on my sectioning uh, my hair in fours and washing it that way. So I parted down the middle and parted again um, kind of like horizontally and just wash each section at a time. So I loved the co-wash. It was really... Um, it had a lot of slip in it, and it was very good. Yeah. I actually so used the um, with. the co-wash as well. It was the first thing I tried when I got the line. I was very excited because if you guys have been following us for a while, you know I love a good co-wash. This co-wash is definitely now in my top five. I absolutely love this. I will be purchasing it again because somebody has been using it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. I have to try the product. I know, but I like love it that much. I'm just like, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Um, we did try, well, I tried the shampoo and conditioner. If you're not a co-wash person, you like shampoos and conditioners, then the shampoo and conditioner is a great shampoo and conditioner you know shampoo does what it does and the Aussie conditioners are always good so the shampoo and conditioner combo are good personally I think the co-wash is better I think the line period is great normally I, I come to the table kind of with no experience behind me especially when it would have come to Aussie but we did film this entire video the other day um, it's my fault everybody that it's so late going out because it was completely filmed and there was a malfunction I noticed when we were editing I'm like oh no that's not going on air so I <laughs> to so, be there forever and ever to be there forever and eternity I'm like no way so um, <laughs> we sat on it for a few days and we didn't put that one out so we'll be filming it again but the um, the whole line was in my hair, so I co-washed it. I put in the uh, detangling milk, and I put in the curl with this curl cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, pudding. and it lasted about three days, I would say. Um, and I didn't I didn't really think like, wow, like Aussie, really. So um, I was very surprised, and I liked it. And um, so just so you have some background on that, it did last. Yeah, from using the, the Aussie line for as, as long as I've been using it, like I wasn't really sure what to expect because it was kind of more like one of those products that's just like a hidden gem because Aussie isn't like a natural hair brand, but the conditioner is very popular. The um, Their conditioner and their 3 Minute Miracle, I use that every single wash day. I love it so much. Um, so I was actually pleasantly surprised by this line and how much I liked it because I love the 
the Three Minute Miracle, which we both used after we co-washed. Yes, exactly. We, we, we used the Three Minute Miracle. Three Minute Miracle. Did you did you um did you shampoo and condition? And I did the, shampoo and condition today. I did the co-wash as well. So I did exactly what you did. Oh, the, you did the okay. co-wash, and then I left the Three Minute Miracle in my hair, and it just the other day when you did the shampoo and conditioner, how many days did it last you? Um, did um you about any? like three or four. Okay, so like same so thing. right now I'm putting in the detangling milk as the uh, first layer, you know, like the leave in. Okay. So. Um, the detangling milk is a little bit light for me. Like, it, you love it as a wash and go, and it yeah. gave me, like, the first time I did it, it gave me a good wash and go, but I prefer to use, actually, the conditioner as my base first. So, if you need something, if you're, like, if you have a hair type that needs a little bit more, then I suggest using the conditioner as uh, your base. Because okay. it's thicker. And that's just what I prefer. All right. So and you don't need a whole lot, just a little. Aussie products have a nice smell. I don't mind yeah. the smell at all. I'm getting used to it. It's light, yeah. kind of. I like the colors. So Why don't you share what color lipstick you're wearing? Because you know that's going to be asked. This is Color Pops. Hold on. This is Color Pop Ultra Matte Lip and Bedazzled. That's what it is. I love Color Pop uh, liquid lipstick. And those that know our channel and know me and my dark lipstick, I tried to switch it up today. Maybe because I already had the stone pencil on, but this is um Max Smoked Purple, but it doesn't look like it because I have on Max Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Max Stone goes down for everything. And it changes everything to Max Stone. Alright, so this Aussie conditioner has a lot of slip, lots of slip. They all the Aussie products have slip. Yeah. That's one thing I can say about all the Aussie products, and that's why I think the conditioner is so popular, is because it has amazing amazing <laughs> amazing slip and tons of moisture. So now, why don't you speak to the audience about um ma'am, how do you feel about this having a lot of um shall we say sulfates in it? And <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Wait, this actually doesn't have sulfates. Okay. This um the Curls line actually is free of sulfates, paraben, and dyes, but it does have silicones in it. Oh, the silicone. Silicones. Yeah. So this is not curly girl friendly, and I actually had somebody come for me. No, she didn't really come for me, but she made a good point. She commented on the picture that I posted on Instagram with the Aussie product saying she doesn't understand why the curly hair world or the natural hair world um, will be like, oh my gosh, stay away from silicones, dyes, parabens, chemicals, this, that, and the other thing, yet everybody raves about Aussie when it has all that stuff in there. And my response to that is, you know, there are rules, but there really aren't rules in mm -hmm. the natural hair world. You know, there's people who want to follow the curly girl method who, you know, want to do this, want to do that. It's your choice. You know, everybody's hair is different. I've never had a problem with Aussie. It makes my wash day incredible, incredibly fast. I, my hair loves it. So even though it has silicones in it, I am really not bothered and I won't be giving up Aussie at all because yeah. it's just, it works for me. I it works for me. the natural world has evolved and I think that nine or ten years ago eight or nine years ago whenever we went natural there were rules and we were driving ourselves crazy with all of these rules and I think maybe a lot of people don't jump on the bandwagon of going natural because I wish some more members of my family would, would go natural all these products that we get all the time I could have someone to give them to mm -hmm. but they just simply don't because it's almost like I compared it to my analogy was Christianity um, if you um, lean towards Christianity. Sometimes, you know, in the beginning you hear all oh, these rules, don't do this, don't do that, don't wear makeup, don't wear shorts, don't wear pants, you know, it's like nerve wracking and it's a miracle for those that stay in it because it's like, gosh, you know, it, it, that, it's not that difficult, mm -hmm. you know, it's between you and God and how you choose to run your faith and so, um, and your journey. It's a journey, it's a process. So all of these rules with this natural hair community, it's, it's too much, no wonder people, you know, don't really stick with it. I mean, there um, are like obvious ones, you obvious. know, that, that we suggest not relaxing your hair, don't straighten your hair every single week. Like there's certain ones like, okay. And then there's other ones that I feel like people can pick and choose what they want to do. Yeah. Um, and it's not that big of a deal, but no. she was pretty upset that, you know, yeah. she feels like the natural hair world saying one thing and then like, you know, we're doing another and you know, everybody's different. Like you said, certain things are obvious, you know, you're not going to... Uh, put a relaxer in, okay, no chemicals you hear, even though, you know, define chemicals, um, we mm -hmm. put highlights in our hair, Yeah. okay, for the dimension and just to kind of change up and make it interesting our hair and so um, is somebody at a point and say you're not natural because you have highlights in your hair, well then that would just be on them because I consider myself natural Yeah. and I have some highlights in my hair. So you have I'm, to make it your own. I'm currently adding in the cream pudding. This is the only product in this line that's a little ant for me. Um, it's it has like a, an odd feeling where 
it's it's thick but when you put it in your hair you kind of lose it a little bit I feel like and um, you get that that um, what is, is it, it like, when, when is you it like, like kinky curly wigs disappear? Yeah, like, kind of. And like when you pull your hair through, you feel that like resistance kind of. So this is the only product that really doesn't have that much slip to me. Okay. But the results in the end are good. Yes. It just feels odd in the hair at first. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. It does feel like kinky curly. Yeah. Like it disappears. It feels kind of odd. Wow. Yes. I think the other day at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. It it is kind of like you're pulling it through. It's identical to the kinky curly custard. Yeah. It's it's one of those products. Yeah. Um. Very much so. so. That experience of that custard of Kinky Curly. Yeah. Very much so. So this is the first time I'm doing my hair in like a week because last week we went to the Jane Carter event at Ricky's New York. If you're in New York City or if you're not in New York City, it's like if the store is called Ricky uh, NYC and it's like this huge hair store where you buy hair products and it was just like a, a natural hair like wonderland. It was I amazing. I always wanted to go to Ricky's. Yeah. Um, ever since I was natural eight years ago nine years ago and i used to watch the um natural hair girl taryn guy and she lived in new york i believe and she always went to ricky's and there's nothing that you cannot find Mine. there yeah everything it's so awesome and at the time i was so into curl junkie and they she said they had it on the shelf there and i actually sent away for it and she, there it was the other night it and was so yeah. Oh my god. It was like our heaven. It was. So if you're like in New York, I think I remember the address. It was like 830 Broadway, New York, New York. Yes. Um, and it, it's a brand new store and it's really awesome. But they uh, held the event for the grand opening and they had um, a braid bar there and I got my hair braided for the first time and mm -hmm. that was pretty exciting. It made doing my hair every day super easy because yeah. I didn't have to do anything to it. Yeah. I know. But I didn't take the leap. I couldn't. It feels good to have my curlies back now. I didn't want to take any chances. I didn't know. Even though I watched the whole process, it was simple as it could be. But I just was like, no, I'm 50 years old. I'm not trying to wear a braid in my hair. <laughs> a long braid. A long braid. It was good. But they had four different styles. You could do two braids. You could do like a braid crown. I could, if I was going to do anything, I would have done the, the braid crown. That would have been good. But, um, maybe next time. I'll be adventurous. <laughs> I'm still but trying to get you to do um, flexi rods and perm rods and... But we were invited by the Jane Carter team, and the most exciting part of the night for me was that um, our Mad Curls videos played um, throughout the night um, on... Oh, yeah, on the, and Ricky's, they, have a, had, they had a huge TV screen, and they yeah. were showing Jane Carter YouTube videos. Yeah, that's fine. So oh, that was oh cool. Oh, my God, there we are on the screen. <laughs> that was very cool. All right. And the people would do a double take, you know, like the cashiers or whatever. They kind of didn't really know maybe what the idea, what the whole event was about or whatever, and... And then, like, we'd walk by, like, not like people are supposed to know us, because, like, who are we, girl? Who are we? We are nobody. But um, <laughs> then, then they would kind of, like, connect. They'd watch it maybe for a while if there was no nothing to ring up. And then the next time I'd walk by, they're like, is that you up there? I'm like, that's me. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> All right. So my hair was just feeling very moisturized with the conditioner. And then okay. I went in with the pudding, and yeah. I lost it a little bit. But it will be back. Really? Yeah. Okay. But these products are really affordable, which is nice because some products in the natural hair world can add yeah. up and so be you up there found it in target um in a town nearby us yes um and they're they range like the normal like fussy price 4.99 mm -hmm. except the uh <laughs> the uh the the mask this is like a dollar 59 or something like you can just tell when products are going to work yesterday i had to go somewhere and uh, what did i use in my hair yesterday i don't remember but I just knew it was not going to work. And oh wait, I remember. I know one was bounce curl. Oh, it, you used the new Shea Moisture Manuka Honey yes. Re Repair. Yes, whatever. It, yeah, for like the last kind of two days during our hiatus, that came in the mail, and I just wanted to try the deep conditioner. And it does stress that it has protein in it for hair repair and all that. And I love my hair loves protein, so I did that and put it in my hair for two days. And then as I was reading it, it said you could use it as a pre-poo. And I read all about pre-poos. And I'm like, okay, basically this is what I've been doing. It's been in my hair for two days. So I rinsed it out and put in, um, they had a leave-in. So I figured I was going to use the leave-in the way we used that other product the other day. The one with the pink label. What was the name of that? We gave it away. The marshmallow but, root, the yeah. sugar cane yeah, that they Because they said it's, it's an everything product. And, th and this read the same way, the everything product. But I wasn't really sure if it would be. So thank goodness. I put in bounce curl just for the hold, and um, your curlies look cute this morning, though. 
Um, yeah, they were still there, right? But yeah. I can already tell, like, this is going to be successful. I can just tell the way it's kind of, like, lining up. All right, so we are going to go let our hair either air dry or sit in front of a fan. Um, spring is on its way because yes. it's, like, 50 degrees outside and the yes. sun is out. So we're excited. So we're going to go dry our hair some way, and then we will be back to show you these Aussie results. Anything else you want to say? Nope. All right. It. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. And we are back. These are our dried results. Mm -hmm. Sickening. <laughs> <laughs> our hair came out really good. Yep. Lots and lots of volume, which we are going to talk about why we think that is. So let's just give our, our final thoughts on this product. What do you think? How do you like your hair? I like it. Yeah. I really like it. I'm surprised. It's yeah. good. This is mm -hmm. about... This is your like second or third time doing because I think you had a test day. This is like my fourth or fifth time. So like every time we use these products, we're basically almost out because we keep using them. Um, yeah, I don't think they I had work. a test day. I think the last time we filmed and we checked that, um, that was the first time. So this is the second time. And okay. It's consistent. It's like, consistent. Twice. Yeah. yeah. So it's consistent. Um, mm -hmm. One thing um, I thought I would mention, I just in case it's like a question, the fact that they have a deep conditioner and a hair mask. So they have the Three Minute Miracle and they have the Nourishing Hair Mask. Mm -hmm. I've used them both. Um, to me, they're very, very similar. The only difference is, um, I think a couple of ingredients are off between them, and the mask you leave in for five to seven minutes, and the three minute you leave in for three minutes. Both I use, both my hair was like silky and shiny, and my curls were bouncy when I rinsed both of them out using them. Um, to me, they're very similar. If you don't want to buy a, a big bottle, like you're not that pressed for Aussie, um, this is only $4.99, then you can like try just the hair mask. The hair mask is very good as well. Um, for me, I'll always buy the Three Minute Miracle just because I want it in a big quantity because I love it. But okay. these two are very similar in my opinion. Did they increase the size? Remember you used to have kind of like a, a size like that. Yeah, so with the uh, with the mirror, the I'm sorry, I use the Aussie Moist. This is a totally different product. This is Three Minute Miracle for the coi uh, the curl the curls line now. Um, I was using the Aussie Moist uh, Three Minute Miracle, and they did have a size like this, and they also had a smaller size. Um, once I found the the larger size, I always bought the larger size. But they do not have okay. a smaller size of the Three Minute Miracle um, for the Miracle Curls line. Just okay. this size right here. Um, another thing we wanted to talk about is that the major uh, products in this line that they advertise on the front of these bottles is that it has uh, coconut and jojoba oil in it. But when we were perusing the ingredients, we noticed that uh, coconut and jojoba is the last ingredient on all these ingredient lists on all these products. So there's a very microscopic quantity of it, um, which is why I think our hair is so like big with volume because there's not a lot of oil weighing it down. Um, my, our hair's not dry, at least for me, my hair's not dry, yeah, no. but I don't feel coconut or, like, any oils in my hair, but it's in there because my hair is not totally dry and frizzy and all over the place, but it's a very small quantity, so if you're, like, a person who doesn't really like oils and coconut oil and stuff, like, you could give this a go because there's a really small quantity in there of mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah, it, I think it gave great definition. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Go ahead, Aussie. Yeah. So I got, as, as I, sorry, as I said, I, my hair was braided, and now that it's unbraided, it's my first time styling it, I have this part here that doesn't want to go away, so anybody have mm -hmm. any suggestions on how I can get rid of this part? I've washed my hair twice now, I've deep conditioned it, and so my hair dried, um, and my hair is like separated, like the Red Sea still, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, my bangs just don't want to come forward. So just y'all let me know a technique, do I have to get a brush, like what do I have to do, because I don't want a middle part for the rest of my life now. I know, right? So let That's me know. so strange. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> I know, I'll be taking pieces and... I know, like, I'm trying to, like, flip it over here. Yeah. And, like, I don't understand what's going on and why yeah. I don't have, like, my bangs going on. <laughs> Who knows? Let me know. Any suggestions? <laughs> um, anything else you want to say? These products can be found in Target. Mm -hmm. We've said that already. Did we say that? Um, Target.com. If you can find them in your local Targets, they're rolling them out. Slowly, because okay. we've only found them once. And one, one Target. One local Target, yeah. right, yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. I like products, I like brands that really never kind of cater to curls, and then they do a line, and it's successful. I like that. I just thought it was just going to be like a tack-on, like, mm -hmm. because everybody in the natural community loved Aussie, uh, the conditioner, that yeah. they were just going to try to get in on the wave of the natural um, wave. But, mm -hmm. um, no, it, it, 
I think it's know, legit. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's good. It's yeah. legit. Let us know if you've tried it, if you like it, if you hate it, if you want to try it, what you think about Aussie, mm -hmm. um, Curly Girl yeah, Method price, Squad. Come attack us in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> for the price. I mean, it's worth a try, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's cute. Here it is. You don't have to buy it. everything. You don't have to buy the shampoo, the conditioner if you're not um, leaning towards that. Mm -hmm. If you just want to buy just the, the, styler. the stylers, you know, yeah. just to give it a try. But what I would suggest, just because it's me out of all these products, the winners for me really were the co-wash and the deep conditioner. So I would repurchase these again and again and again and okay. again. These are the two winners for me out of the, everything in the line. Even though I got this bomb wash and go, love it so much. Okay. I still love the co-wash and the deep conditioner. Those are my, my top for this line. And if I decided I was going to get this, I definitely would have to get this because this is what produced these results. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't try to, you know, uh, Break take it a up. shortcut. Yeah, yeah. because then, then I'd wonder why the results weren't the same. So... Mm -hmm. This is what gave me the results, those two. You didn't use this one, though. You used I used it the very first time I ever did it, and I just feel like I get more moisture when I use the actual conditioner here. Okay. I want more moisture, so if you want something lighter, then use that. For me, this is a little bit more moisturizing, and my hair needs that. So, so you I put went that in this. and kind of like left it in? I put this in, yep, and then I did my pudding. Okay. Yep. So that's All what we right. did. All righty. So thank, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, and more <laughs> videos will be rolling out, and we will see you soon. Mm -hmm. See you in our next video. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. -bye.